This is what they call the Full Meg's Makeover. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Kingdom Leader Class, Galvatron! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. So we have some lovely artwork of Galvatron in his alt mode, in his robot mode. Love the artwork on these boxes. Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy Transformers. On this side of the box we have the lovely Kingdom artwork. On this side we see he is a leader class, a class leader, a leader class A and a class A leader. Up top Decepticon symbol. On the bottom words things barcodes. On the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card slash sticker and you can see we have Black Arachnia, yay, we got a new one. And when we peel off the sticker, we have Black Arachnia, yay, Black Arachnia. Hooray for stickers and carts. And moving right along, behold, Galvatron, yes. Here we have Galvatron, the latest leader class figure in this wave of Transformers Kingdom. Now, let me get this out of the way right now because I know everybody's gonna ask. Um, I got this from Big Bad Toy Store. Now, if you check the site right now, it still says it's a pre-order. I, I don't know, I had him on pre-order. I got a shipping notice, he's here. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so, that's the situation, but yeah, here is Galvatron in his cannon mode, which looks pretty good, in my opinion. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You have the big cannon barrel done in a nice orange transclearant plastic. We also get some uh, some paint in there as well to give it kind of a little like gradient effect. Looks quite nice. You see a section done in a nice gunmetal gray. There is some nice detail inside this section as well. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's in there. It's a nice detail. That's a pretty nice details throughout. You get some more silver. You can get the other uh, part of his cannon here with a lot of nice silver and black. There's some nice panel lining and whatnot. Got a little bit of red going on there. You got the treads, which are also, these bits anyway are picked out in silver. Got a little support piece in the back. These are his robot mode toes. Just kind of hanging out back there, but hey, it works. And there's the back. And there is the top. There is the bottom. He does have little rolling wheels, so he can roll as giant killing cannons should roll. Hooray for giant rolling killing cannons. And for comparison, uh, here he is with Studio Series Hot Rod. So you can see how that works out. With Earthrise Megs. With G1 Galvatron, because he's precious. Oh, so precious. Yay. And lastly, but not leastly, here he is with the Titans Return Galvatron. And yeah, the Kingdom version, in my opinion anyway, way, way better. So, there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, uh, he does include the Matrix on a, uh, on a chain here. You can see the Matrix, pretty nicely painted. You got some nice bright blue in there for the jewel, silver. And the chain itself is, you know, it's it's a soft-ish plastic here, but all in all, looks pretty good. And you can slide this over the barrel so you can hang off him like it was in the movie. There's even a tab that goes into a slot right here to secure it in place. You can just have that right there. And there he is with his matrix. And he does come with two other weapons that look, uh, look a little familiar. They're supposed to be guns, but you can see they look like the, uh, the Revenge, which is hilarious. That's adorable, honestly, <laughs> but they're nicely done. Done in gray, would have been nice if they were purple, but they still actually look, uh, look pretty good. And you get two of them, and these will be your ships. I get an extra one, you get an extra one. Oh, anyway. But yeah. 
You got two of these to use as weapons. You can store these on cannon mode as well. You have these tabs on either side here, and you want to plug them into these notches right here, like the lower notch. And that will just clip on, like so. And that just gives Galvatron some extra armament, as if being a giant cannon wasn't already enough. Put some extra guns on the side. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Things you can do if you want to do it. Um, now, as far as uh, articulation goes, um, you can adjust this back piece here, the support piece. You kind of bring this back, kind of angle it down. So if you want this kind of a bit more angled up, you can kind of, uh, you know, just kind of finagle things around and have it more angled up if you want to. As always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. Do what you want. But hey, you have the option. And as always, options are what? They're good. So A. But per the instructions, they want you to have it just sitting straight down like that. But again, you can do whatever you want there. And of course, the cannon is bluish compatible. Of course it is. It better be. <sighs> Come on. You can plug that right there. And we can do a big old... We're not going to do that yet. We're not going to do that yet. But yay. Yes, of course, the cannon can bluish as it should. As it should. Now, as far as like a, a, a gun mode, like the G1 toy had, can you do that? I don't know. I don't know. I guess maybe you can, I don't know. You can bring that down or something. Do that or something. I don't know. Yay, gun mode. I don't know. <laughs> you can maybe fan mode something up. I don't know. I don't care. That gun mode was just, you know, that, that was not the right home about in the first place with G1 toy, so I'm not really expecting it out of anything else. If it, if it can do it, cool. If not, not a big loss as far as I'm concerned anyway, but... Yeah, that is basically it for the cannon mode, and like I said, I think it looks pretty good. But let's get down to a transformation, shall we? <laughs> she can get a pretty good spin out of him. So let's remove his, uh, his little ships here. And we will remove his matrix. And we shall begin. So first thing we need to do is we need to remove his uh, his arm cannon parts. Remove that, put that off to the side. Remove the barrel, put that off to the side. And here we have what is left. So first thing you wanna do, take the support piece, just flip this up, take all this, bring this back, that will lock into place, and you get that out of your way. So next thing you wanna do is you wanna come here to these panels, untab them from what will be his shoulder pieces, untab that, and you want to unclip these sections here. You can see this little tab that goes into this little clip right in here. When you're going into cannon mode, the best way to do this is to just get it in place and then just kind of put your thumb like right here and just give it a push and it'll just snap into place and you can tab that in. But undo that, unclip, just bring that up, untab that, unclip that and bring it up. At this point we can untab, oops, not that. We want to untab his legs. Just bring those down right now. Take this section here and just swing this back like so. And now we have that weird thing. Okay, sure. That's that 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 can be a mode. That can, I'm, su I'm surprised that that's not in the instructions as like a, a secret third mode. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. So what you want to do here is you want to bring this section up, and then you want to come here this bit and untab this and this is always really tight Ugh, there we go untab that and there's his noggin so you want to bring the chest plate up and then bring all of this around and that will seat right there then you bring this up you can see there's like mold the detail everywhere on this thing which is kind of crazy and also even in this section that you don't see normally there's a lot of detail a lot of mold detail on this guy so anyway, let's bring all that up, clip that together, and there's a tab that'll go into that slot right there. Just plug it in, plug it in, and then bring the backpack up, and that will just plug right in there where the barrel went. This little section here just comes up and over, like so. And now we're going to bring his shoulders up. So this will tab in right up in here. Just line that up, give it a push. That will tab in. Then you have a tab that will go right in here. So lock all of that in. That should sit all nice and secure like. Second verse, just like the first. Bring that up. Tab that in. Bring that up. 
tab that in. And of course, just angle this little shoulder pieces appropriately. These bits right here will just fold back to make his hip skirts. Then you just want to split his legs, rotate them forward, take this purple bit here, just swing this around, and that will go right there, lock in place. Come down here, flip out his heel, second fast, just like the first. Take this, rotate it around, tab it in, flip out the heel, and there we go. And we're at the home stretch here, peoples. So now we just gotta work on the arms. So the treads, you just take, you swing it back. Now, what's supposed to happen here is you see there's this tab, it's supposed to go into this port right here. You can do this, but it ends up affecting the articulation, but we'll get to that a little bit later, but you can do what you want there in that instance. But then you just untab his forearm, flip out his hands. And there you got the arm all done. Second verse is just like the first. Bring that around, bring it up, plug that in. If you want to plug it in, untab that, flip out the hand, and we are pretty much at the home stretch here, but now we have to put the, uh, the cherry on top. Take the two cannon pieces, plug them together. Now you have two points that you can plug the cannon onto. You can plug it onto his form if you want, or you can plug it onto his uh, upper arm if you want to. Again, probably up to you what you want to do. But there we go. There we have a Galvatron in his robot mode. And he's just a beefy Galvatron. He looks like he's been working out, man. He got jacked. He got jacked. But let's get it close here so we can take a look at that noggin. You can see it's a nice Galvatron-y noggin. Nice silver there for the face, red for the eyes. He's got his red abs, Autobot symbol. You can see he got some, uh, some scuffage going on there on the chest, on the forearms. Get a little bit of dirt. Across his, uh, across his shins there. And big old feet. And move up the back. Oh, it's a pretty clean transformation. I mean, what he has back there is what he's supposed to have back there. So all in all, not too shabby. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint, so you have your wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit, look down a little bit. It can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. Yeah, pretty much full range of movement there. Now, if you have those treads plugged into the backs of his shoulders, then you can't rotate his bicep. So you have to unplug that to get your bicep rotation in. So that's why that step is kind of optional. You can do what you want there. But you do have a double jointed elbow, so you have a nice full range of movement there. You do have wrist rotation. Uh, you do have waist rotation. And these skirt pieces will move out of the way to accommodate the movement. You can also move his little crotch plate up if you need to. But legs can move forward that far, back that far, outward. You can do the full splits and then some. You got thigh rotation. Yeah, slightly under 90 degrees of bend there at the knee and the feet. They can't move up, they can't move down, but you do have, oops, you do have a good bit of ankle tiltage, although if you go too far, then you'll start undoing all that. So you're really gonna get about that much ankle tiltage out of him. And of course we can give him his accoutrement. We can uh, give him his matrix that just goes right over his head. There you go. He's got his matrix, he's got his bling. And we can give him his uh, his his guns if you want. We can just plug right into his hands. Oh, they're quite tight on mine, but they'll go in. They're just very tight. There we go. So you can give him the guns. You can give him both if you want to, or if you don't want to do that, they can connect together right here to form one gun. And you can give him that, which I think that looks pretty cool. So you can do all your pew-pewing, bang-banging, pew-pewing, and bang-banging 
if you want to. I personally dig that. I like that. It's like a little rail gun or something. But if you don't want to do that, you can store this on his back. Now, per the instructions, they want you to use uh, this slot and use these tabs on the sides. Um, you can do that if you want to. But these will be sitting very, very high. As you can see, these are just going to be sticking way up over his head. If you don't want that, you can use this slot right here and these sit way lower and won't be so obvious from the back they'll blend in a little better so again totally up to you what you want to do it's your toy display it however you wish and a quick note about his shoulders if you don't like where his shoulders are sitting um you can always just turn the shoulder around Rotate around. I mean, that rivet's going to be staring at you now, but as you can see, it brings his shoulders up a little higher. So, you know, again, you know, something you can do if you want to do it. If you don't like where those shoulders are sitting on his body, you know, there's something you can do about that. Again, you'll be staring at that rivet, but hey, again, things you can do if you want to do it and things are falling off. How dare you? We're just going to take these off. But there you go. And of course he is bluish compatible, because of course he is. Now you have you know multiple ports you can plug weaponizers onto if you want to, or you can plug bluishes under and have him get bluish in the arm or whatever. You have ports underneath the feet, and so you can have him bluish, you can bluish off into space, all that good stuff. He's got a port back there, have him get bluish in the back. I don't know. Do what you want. Do whatever you want there. But of course, let's put his uh little revenges back in his hands, we can get his little cannon going, and now granted, the, the, the bluish points on the Revenge are very loose, they don't hold securely, they just kind of sit there, but you know, we can, we can, we can do that, we can do that, and we can plug one into his cannon, and do a big old double Galvatron! Bloosh! Revenge of the Bloosh, I don't know, hey! Again, all things <laughs> you can do. So, there you go. And now for comparison. Here he is with Earthrise Megs. With Studio Series Hot Rod. With the Titans Return. Galvatron, again, in my opinion, Kingdom version is way better. And here he is with G1 Galvatron, because it's precious! Oh! Oh, so precious. And here he is with his best friend in the galaxy. There he is with, uh, with Unicron. Hey, hi, hi. Hi there. Hi, how you doing? And here he is with his buddies, his pals, his amigos, Cyclonus, and Scourge. And here he is with Earthrise Prime. And here he is with Leader Class Magnus. So, there you go. So there you have Galvatron, and yeah, I really dig him. I mean, I'm totally biased. I'm a Galvatron fanboy, so yeah, I love him. I love him regardless. Um, but yeah, overall, though, it's a really well-done figure, in my opinion, anyway. Um, you know, the cannon mode looks good. The robot mode looks good. They made him all kind of beefed up, and I personally like it. I think it looks good on him. But uh, yeah, the transformation, it works. It's smooth. It's enjoyable. Overall, I think it's a very well-done figure, in my opinion, anyway, so... There you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Kingdom figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Kingdom playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Kingdom Leader Class Galvatron. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Geek! 
be proud. Home in your face. Megatron! What the- oh, Who are you? I'm you! Wait, this- This can't be! I didn't think it was possible for me to become even more handsome! Neither did I, and yet, here I am! <laughs> awesome! Awesome! Are you from the future? Yeah, yeah I am. Cool. Hey, where- Where did you get that Matrix? Did you get it from Prime? Well, that's a long story. Prime, Magnus, eh, it gets kind of confusing. Wait a second, are we mixing up timelines and continuities here? Yeah, but what else is new? Eh, fair point. But did you kill Prime? No, nah, no, nah, I didn't kill Prime. He's hard to kill, isn't he? Yeah, he's a real pain in the tailpipe that way. I know, right? But look, I, I don't have much time here, so I have vital information that will help you destroy Optimus Prime. Really? What? What is it? Well, it's quite simple, actually. It's... No, no, time's up. No, wait, wait! No, now I'll never know. Does it have anything to do with burritos? We, we still like burritos, right?